Good morning and happy Sabbath, everyone. I am Adventure Cassie Bonsa, seven years old from Sunday class. The title of my message is Under His Wings. Jesus knows He takes care of you. Before we start, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this time we share together. We are excited to learn more about your love and care. Open our hearts and help us understand how your knowledge and care can transform our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hello, dear friends. How are you today? Good. We are here to discover something amazing about our good friend Jesus. Have you ever had a day when everything seemed complicated? Perhaps you had challenging tasks at school. Or maybe you were a little worried. Well, today, we are going to talk about a story that will teach us that no matter how complicated the situation is, Jesus always knows and is ready to take care of us. Imagine you are in a forest full of tall trees. You could hear the melodies of birds. You could feel the gentle breeze and hear the sound of the nearby stream. But as we walk further into the forest, we realize that there are many shadows and obstacles on our path. Sometimes life can be like that, right? Yeah. Full of things I don't understand and make us feel a little lost. Today, adventure will lead us to discover how we meet shadows and challenges. This is provides us the rest under his protective wings. Let's explore a special Bible story that will show us that Jesus is like a safe refuge, always ready to take care of us, guide us, and love us. So get ready to immerse yourselves in the amazing truth that under his wings, Jesus knows he takes care of you. To begin, I want to share a special verse with you. It is Philippians 4, verse 6 to 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which presents all understanding, will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Let's travel back in time. Imagine, we are in a field full of hungry people. Yes! We are in the story of the multiplication of the loaves and fishes. Jesus was teaching a large crowd, and at the end of the day, everyone was hungry. Imagine that, so many hungry people, but Jesus was not worried. He asked his friends if they had anything to eat. He found a small boy who was willing to share, but he had only five loaves and two fish. Five loaves and two fish for so many people? Can you believe it? Here's the reason for it. Jesus took the five loaves and two fish, lifted his eyes to heaven, thanked God, and started distributing them. And you know what happened? Incredibly, ev everyone ate and was satisfied. Not only that, their baskets full of leftovers. Jesus took something small and made it big. He knows exactly what we need. Drink water. Next is the puzzle of our life. Imagine that each one of us is like a puzzle. There are many small pieces. Some happy, some sad. Some easy, some others difficult. Mm. And sometimes we feel like we don't fit well. But the amazing thing is that Jesus knows how to fit all the pieces of our life together. Even when it seems like nothing makes sense, these things can make everything work. And sometimes, our life can be like those five loaves and two fish. It may seem like there's not enough, and we can't do much. But when we put what little we have in Jesus, sense, he can do something incredible with them. Jesus knows how to take our lives and make something beautiful with them. Next is fishing with Jesus. Let's do a little activity together. Imagine a 
tell your official reviews as an example. I have this piece of paper with a fish drawn on it. On this fish, I wrote something that worries me. I want you to imagine what you would write on this fish. The let's put the fish in the basket. Just like the baskets in the story of the multiplication of the lots and fishes. When we put our words and things given in Jesus' hands, we transform them into something beautiful. Just like the fish in the story that turned food for everyone, our worries are in the skin and we make something that Jesus uses to let many. Let's look together with Matthew 11 verse 28. Come to me all who you are weary and burdened. I will give you rest. Can you repeat that with me? Come to me, all who you are weary and I will give you rest. Very well. This verse reminds us that when we feel tired or worried, Jesus is there to take care of us and give us rest. Do you see how amazing Jesus is? He knows and takes care of us in astonishing ways. When they're multiplying loaves and fishes, for taking care of us in difficult times, Jesus is always there. Here's how he transformed five loaves and two fish into something big. He could do the same with our lives. Jesus takes our worries and takes the blessings for us and others. Before we go, I want you to remember this. Jesus always knows what we need. He is always ready to take care of us. The next time you feel worried or tired, Remember this story. Now let's close our eyes and thank Jesus for always knowing and taking care of us. Also, we can tell Jesus if there's anything that worries us. Remember, so we can trust Him. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for always love, loving and knowing for what we always need and what we need. Thank you for taking care of us just as you did with the crowd and the loaves of fishes. Help us to trust in you when we feel worried and tired. Thank you for being our friend and caretaker. Amen. Amen.